Hey, it's Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you three tips to help you throw a baseball harder. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Tip number one is improve your ground force using plyometrics. Now plyometrics are great exercises, you've probably done them before, but I love them for baseball players because baseball, it's all about explosion. Whether we're hitting, whether we're throwing, no matter what we're doing on the baseball field, it's about being explosive and generating as much power as possible. And so plyometrics are gonna help you get there. Some great plyometric exercises that I recommend you do are things like skaters. Skaters are great because it helps you learn how to really load your legs and get the most from the ground all the way to your core, all the way eventually through your fingertips, right? Where these, all these exercises are gonna help you learn to use your entire body. So skaters are one of my favorite exercises where you just jump back and forth like you're ice skating. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, long jumps are another one of my favorites or broad jumps just because again, we're getting down, we're getting into our legs, we're using our entire body and we're trying to just be as athletic, explosive as possible and jump as far as we can. We're getting the most out of things. Vertical jump is another great thing that I think all baseball players should work on. In fact, there's been numerous studies that show that those players who have higher vertical jumps actually throw harder. Now, uh, you know, it's tough to say if there's truly a correlation there, but what I can tell you, the reason why I believe players with more vertical jump can throw harder is because they learn to use their body, right? They learn to use their body to its fullest. They learn how to load with their legs and really be explosive and get every ounce of athleticism that they possibly can out of their body. So work on plyometrics. They're really gonna help you with your ground force, which is very, very important in terms of throwing because we throw from the ground and then everything else works its way up. Tip number two is improve your rotational power with medicine balls. So throwing, we have a ground force and then we also have a rotation. Our entire body rotates as we throw and as we hit. So medicine balls are the best way to really recreate that feeling and put some, some weight uh, onto our muscles that are actually being used for throwing and for hitting and baseball specific, right? So I recommend doing different medicine ball exercises. They're great because it's not a slow bench press or anything like that. It is explosive. It is in the nick of time and that's the exact way that you need to be throwing is explosive and throwing happens in a hurry just like medicine ball throws do. So you can do a lot of different things with medicine balls. You can do rotational throws where you take a step behind and you throw the ball to your side as far as you possibly can. You can do throws overhead where you squat and then you throw the ball as far as you can over your head. You can do uh, scoop throws, which is basically bringing the ball down to, let's say, my right side and then throwing it over to my left side. There's lots of different things that you can do with medicine balls. I just recommend that you use them and use them to help you build your rotational power. So anything you can do in terms of throwing and doing so in a rotational manner, it's going to help you uh, throw harder. And tip number three for throwing harder is strengthen your rotator cuff. Guys do not put enough emphasis on strengthening their rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff is comprised of four different muscles. That's what makes up your rotator cuff. And the rotator cuff is really what makes the throwing motion possible. It's what slows your arm down and decelerates your arm uh, when you make the throwing motion, right? So it's very important. I promise you that if you don't have a strong rotator cuff, you're gonna experience injuries. Your arm's not gonna feel great every single day. You're not gonna be able to remain healthy throughout the season. So it's so important. I love to use the example of a roller coaster, right? at an amusement park, let's say you're going to a roller coaster. Well, they're only going to make a roller coaster go 100 miles an hour if they have the mechanism to slow that thing down, if they have the brakes to slow that thing down. You cannot go and build a 100 mile an hour uh, roller coaster and then only have brakes to slow down a 50 mile an hour roller coaster. It doesn't work, right? And it's the exact same thing with throwing or with pitching, with your velocity. You cannot have 98 mile an hour mechanics and accelerator muscles with 70 mile an hour decelerator muscles. It just does not make sense. So there's lots of things you can do with your rotator cuff to strengthen it, to keep your arm healthy all year long. I recommend you use bands, so many different band exercises. You can do internal 
and external rotations with your bands. You can do flies with your bands. You can actually go through the full throwing motion. You can do reverse throws with bands. So many different things you can do for your rotator cuff if you invest in a set of bands. And then on top of that, even if you don't have bands, you can do some dumbbell work and you can also do YWTLs, which you know that's very basic. If you have soup cans around the house or anything that you can hold, you can complete some rotator cuff exercises and improve your arm health as well as uh, train your decelerators to slow things down so that you can throw much harder. I hope you enjoyed today's video and really quickly before you go, I wanna share with you my free velocity hacks. These are three hacks that I guarantee are gonna take your velocity to that next level. So it's 100% free to grab these hacks. All you have to do, click on the first link below this video in the description. That'll take you to my website. And I just need your email address, that's it. So I know where to send these hacks and I'll send them right over. So click on that first link, enter your email, do that now, go grab your velocity hacks. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you'd like to see next on the channel in future videos. And as always, subscribe because we're coming out with new baseball videos every single week. So I guarantee that you're not going to want to miss any. So hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.